Hello, and welcome to Recovering from the Storm. I'm Callie Nelson with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today's topic is how to file an insurance claim. On January 12th, a tornado passed through Selma. It changed our community, our lives, and in many cases, it damaged our homes. Here are steps you can take to file an insurance claim and have your property fixed. To get started, contact your insurance agent. They can help you go through the claims process and begin your journey to repairs. The agent will arrange for an adjuster to assess your damage. Be certain that your adjuster is licensed and sent by your insurance company. First, make a detailed list of lost or damaged property and take pictures or videos of damaged property before starting repairs. Second, do not throw away damaged property without your adjuster's approval. Third, list cleaning and repair bills, cost of rental equipment, and depreciation of purchase equipment. Fourth, list any additional living expenses you incurred if your home is so severely damaged that you've had to find other accommodations while repairs are being made. This includes motel and restaurant bills, home rental, and or car rental. Next, your insurance adjuster will visit your property and assess the damage. You or a trusted advisor should be present. The adjuster's job is to assist you and review your claim. The adjuster will inspect your list of lost or damaged property, calculate the value of these items, and prepare an estimate for the repairs. You and the adjuster need to come to an agreement on the scope of damage which describes what needs to be repaired and or replaced without a dollar amount. Finally, you want to sell your claim and repair your property. You or your insurance company may contract for the repair of your property. Make sure the contractor is a reputable firm that is both licensed and insured. Beware of door-to-door -door sellers when choosing a contractor. They may make cheap repairs and leave before you discover that the repairs are inadequate. Get a written estimate. Always ask if there's a charge for the estimate before allowing anyone to enter your property. And finally, do not pay the full contractor bill until after the work is completed and inspected. Again, this is Callie Nelson, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to Recovering from the Storm. The Dallas County Extension Office has more information on this topic. Please contact our office at 334-875-3200 or visit us on the web at www.aces.edu. And don't forget, we care about you and want to help you recover.